all week our viewers have had some anxiety because everyone's knowing knowing that we're in February and last February it was a blackout across Texas. I want you to take a look at something. We're at the high five in northeast Dallas and on the elevated surface it's been raining for hours. It's a, a thin layer of ice on top of this railing and this has been the changing uh, weather that we've been seeing all night has gone from just raining for hours to freezing rain and now we're at 31 degrees. The feel like temperature is about 21. Still steady cars driving behind us. Roads not slick. We haven't seen any spin outs just yet. Encore, which delivers energy to North Texas. They have more than 3.8 million customers. They have been preparing for this uh, for weeks. They have pre-positioned crews in different areas in the Metroplex and then also as far west as Odessa, as far east as Tyler. Also, there are crews, more than 1,500 people in town from states like Missouri, Kentucky, the Carolinas, the Gulf Coast states, including Florida, also positioned to respond. The biggest concern for Encore right now is ice. We had some freezing rain. The temperatures are going to drop even lower later tonight. If ice or on tree branches or power lines, that's going to cause power outages. Now, we mentioned last year, Governor Greg Abbott and all the energy experts and officials this week say that this is not going to be a repeat of last year. They say, uh, Governor Abbott saying he's not going to rule out that they could, there could be some planned outages in some areas, but they are betting on the majority of any outage in our area being weather related, meaning due to ice, down power lines, tree branches. We talked to Encore earlier today about their preparations. Take a listen. So ice on power lines is something that we're concerned about, but what we're also really concerned about is ice on trees as well. You get a light glazing of ice, even a tenth of an inch of ice on a tree, and it can add hundreds, literally hundreds of pounds of extra weight to a tree, which makes those branches sag. And if there's wind, that wind can break off a branch and unfortunately cause issues. And really the most important part is the temperature. That's going to make all the difference in the world. One degree temperature difference is the difference between uh, you know, a quarter of an inch of ice and four inches of snow or a quarter of an inch of rain. Now, ERCOT, the Public Utility Commission, Governor Greg Abbott, they all have been saying all week things are different this time. Weatherization is something you've been hearing us talk about for a while. The power plant facilities had to weatherize, and ERCOT said nearly all of them passed inspection. But natural gas is a big energy provider here in Texas, and they are not under that same weatherization rule. There are some concerns from people and experts about those pipes freezing like they did last year. Now they can be injected with a solution. Uh, one company, Powerline Company, uh, told ERCOT that they will be seeing some lower output and that's going to impact North Texas. The good news, according to ERCOT, is it's going to be, in their worst case scenario, dramatically low uh, impact compared to the what is expected to be an excess amount of energy Peak demand is going to be Friday morning, which is going to be a record according to ERCOT. Again, ERCOT, the governor, everyone saying this won't be like last year, but only time will tell as we're really just now getting into the thick of things. Clarice? Yeah, we're in the early hours. Stephen Dial live on High Five in Dallas. Stephen, thank you.